I say ready, you say break, ready, break. Let's go jump out. Tucson, four man rush. Everybody else drop to their spot. Run to your coach, here we go. Hut. Let's go, let's go. Well, I really think we've taken some strides to the point we're at right now. We can continue to develop the current player we got and then add to that group with the type of kids that fit Corvallis, fit Oregon State, we can do some really good things. There you go, Bush. Keeping them up. Love it. You know, they always say that, you know, beavers are very hardworking animals, so, you know, that's what we're trying to be. You know, we're a bunch of hardworking three star, two star guys, you know, that want to grind and be the best that we can be. Gotta go Come again. On. Gotta go again. Hey, we need this. Come on. We gotta be better. We gotta be better. Let's go. You know, some teams have to take the L sometimes, and that was us last year. That just makes me even more excited for this season, just to know that we get a fresh start and we're going to be able to prove ourselves in the way that we want to be proven. He done. He done. Come on now. One thing for sure, when you're dealing with Key, you can count on that he is going to bring great energy. Just an individual example how great college football is, because all these kids come from different backgrounds, different areas, with unique stories, um, and come together and try to get a, a common goal. Um, he's a great example of that. So right now, I'm headed back home. I usually, I wouldn't run home if I didn't have a dog. I have an eight-month-old puppy, and then his name's Rocco. And uh, so I'm just headed home to let him out for a little bit. And then we got to go back uh, 745. We got um, position meetings, kind of go over the film, watch, watch what we practice today. And then we're off at like 9 o'clock. Here's my little man, Rocco. Rocco, Rocco. I am from Clearwater, Florida. The biggest change that I've adapted to coming to Oregon um, probably has to be just being away from the family. As a, a toddler, as a young person, um, my mom, my biological mother, um, had various boyfriends, and um, all my brothers, five of us, have um, different biological dads to a, um, a company that with um, some drug issues that she had, you, you know, was a very bad situation for me and my brothers. So at the age of four, I was four at the time, um, and all five of us were all um, taken away and placed in the foster care. Um, from there, we spent about two years um, going from group home to group home, foster care, stuff like that. There are some times where some of uh, my brothers got separated from me and things like that, and I was just completely, I felt like so alone by myself. So I was six and um, I was having a super bad day. I went to the wrong bus stop that morning, so my bus never came. Ended up going home, back to the foster um, home, and I got in trouble because I, she thought I had skipped school that day and stuff like that. And then um, one of my caseworker who was working on my case, she was a, a social caseworker, and so she shows up and she was like, look, I got your brothers in the car, and I've got this couple that wants to meet you guys. There's all of us right here. From oldest to youngest, we've got Brian, we've got Trey, and there's me, and then there's Dion and Josiah. And this is just one of um, the family friends. He's like, well, wow. it was it was pure joy when I first found out that you know there was a, a couple that was interested in all of us. I almost broke out in tears, but you know I was trying to be cool and calm and collected because my brothers are in the car right now. Carl and Wayne Wetzel were looking for children because they had a tragic accident and um, they had some triplets who died of premature birth. And they came across me and my brothers and um, ended up adopting all five of us, which I thought was wild because, you know, who wants five boys at the same time? Here's me and my adopted mom, this Mrs. Wetzel right here. This was my senior year. I had, went to some award ceremony for good grades and stuff like that. Here's one of them. The definition of family for me definitely doesn't come from your DNA or, you know, who you match blood cells with. I definitely think family is just who you want it to be. I feel like, you know, being adopted and going through what I've gone through, I've become a very, like, family-oriented person. I've always told people that being adopted was one of the best things that's ever happened to me. You know, even though I lost my biological mom in the process, you know, I made a new mom and I made a new dad, and here I am. I'm happy, I'm healthy, and I'm, I'm living my dream.
Yeah. All right, guys, hey, let's lock in. We'll go, we'll go till uh, 925, then you guys got lifted this morning. Okay, so continuing where we left off from yesterday. Great defenses aren't just a collection of talent. It's really, it's, it's 11 guys that can play together out there. And I think that's really what, what, what makes defenses great, is you have enough talent and you have guys buy into the team concept and, and they're playing for each other out there. Key Wetzel, his attitude every single day in the meeting room, on the football field, he's having fun out there. Being around Key, it's fun. That dude is just crazy, man. That dude is crazy. I ain't never seen nobody dance. Like, that man dances in his sleep. I'm telling you, like, he could dance to the sound of the wind. I'm going to put it like that. And to be honest, I don't even know, like, where it comes from. It kind of just, it happens. You know, I'm out there. I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun. They got the music going and stuff like that. My body just starts moving. You know, he's a real fun guy to be around. Um, you know, genuine, caring person. If there's more keys in the world, I think the world would be a good place. I've always loved sports and mostly team sports. And I think that's just because it's uh, basically another family that you have. Literally just being able to play for 10 other people instead of just playing for myself. That family sends, you know, brotherhood. You know what it is? You know what it is? That's what I'm talking about. The Drive. Shot with Canon EOS cameras and lenses. Coming this season on The Drive. We go behind the scenes of every football program in the Pac-12. It's about smashing someone in the face every single play. To tell the most compelling stories of the players and coaches in the Conference of Champions. Make it a real rep. Go score. Go score. In this season, we get an inside look at the preparation and the passion leading up to game day. And see it before your team takes the field. I want this team to go out and be tough and determined and scrappy like we know how to be. Remember the history of this place. 125 years of tradition. For the most in-depth access with your team, watch The Drive on Pac-12 Network and at pac-12.com. Yeah, 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 yeah.